Are you guys ready for an adventure, huh? I'm gonna take you up into a secret canyon where the spirits live. And I'm gonna show you some cool stuff. So just keep those pants on, Sonny Jim. Look what I got for you, Sonny boy. That's right, can you guys guess where I'm at, huh? Ooh, there's just millions of petroglyphs everywhere. From the Paiute to the Anazazi. And this is a very sacred mountain. Have you guys figured it out yet, huh? I'm talking to you, boy. Look at that, just tons of them. Everywhere. Isn't that nice? Look at that, there's some there on the rock. There's some up there. Look at that. Ooh. And there's some back in there. <laughs> Where does it go? I gotta know. Where does it go? Oh, it's a secret cave. Secret cave. Yeah. Oh, petroglyph cave. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, does it go through? Does it go through? Oh, and there's a little tiny one right there. Look at that. They're all over the place. They're all over the place. There's one up there. There's one up there. And they're all across the canyon there. In case you haven't figured it out, I've been Spirit Mountain, son. I thought you would have figured that out by now. Look at this. All of this beautiful quartz monzonite. Just covered with them. It's got that beautiful manganese oxide or de <laughs> desert varnish, boy. Pay attention. You want to go take a look at some more, boy? Come with me. Look at them all. They're all over the place. They're all over the place. Ugh. Look at that. Can't tell what they are. Look like calendars. Look like calendars, boy. What's the meaning of this? Oh, uh, see that? See this quartz monzonite? And see that? Those are phenocrysts. Oh, if you're gonna come up here, you need to eat your Wheaties, boy. Yeah, look at all this slippery granitic rock. Yeah. That'll test your metal, boy. Test your metal. Ugh. Look at that, look at that, they're everywhere. Look at that, ooh, what does it mean? What does it mean, whoa. <laughs> look at that. Somebody had fun putting these all up here, huh? Putting them all up here. Hiding in these little spots. Oh, you can see where the quartz monzonite was cooked. Right here. Maybe that's what that means. Cooked quartz monzonite. Oh, look at that one. All over. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, a couple lightning bolts. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Look what I see. You see what I see? Huh? You better. That's a dike. That's a subhorizontal sheet of aplite. Sometimes in porphyry, it's intruded into this hot, sometimes mushy melt. Come up through there, it's forced its way through. It created this beautiful looking dike. And of course, the pegmatitic granite is much softer, so it eroded away, leaving this guy behind. You see that a lot too, because the quartz is a lot harder. And if you use a jeweler's loop on this, you can see that it's got little specks of biotite mica in it. Ooh, yeah, you can see it right in there. Look at that. Now, for most of you out there that don't know, Spirit Mountain is referenced by a lot of the local tribes as the center of creation. And it's a very sacred place, even to this day. And there's a lot of episodes of geology that have taken place here that makes it a very unique and special place. There's a lot of granitic rock here, which is referred to as Spirit Mountain Granite, Quartz Monzonite. You have sheeted aplites, sheeted rhyolite. You have mafic dikes and sills. Now, most of the granite here in Spirit Mountain is made up of 
of biotite. You can see that. And biotite is a mica. And then of course you got plagia class and alkali feldspars. Those are the white ones. And sometimes the alkali feldspars are pink, not to be confused with case bars. And of course you have quartz up here too, pegmatitic quartz. And of course you have large phenocrysts in there too, of quartz, which makes it an interesting mix. And of course, I know a lot of you out there are thinking, Jeff, that's all great. But is there any gold? Yeah, there's gold out here. We're gonna talk about that. You better smash that like button, boy. Smash it hard, harder than that. Oh, and I got a special announcement for you too. All right, all you geology wannabes, tell me what this is, huh? Tell me what that is. That's right, it's a basalt dike and they're running all over the place out here. I got a better example. Let me show you this one. This is what I'm talking about, Sonny Jim. You see this? This is called a dike. You have dikes and you have sills. Remember I told you about that. And you can see this mafic dike, which is basalt, cutting right through this granitic rock, which is Spirit Mountain granite. Ooh, this is a classic illustration of it. And you can see all these, this dark, fine ground mass because it came up so quick and cooled quickly. Ooh, and you have all these dikes cutting through here. And not only that, you have dikes of diorite that are cutting through all this Spirit Mountain granite. Ooh, but this is a good example. I wanted to see this. You can see where you cut right up through there. And you can see the area of contact where it's cooked some of that granite. Look at that, there's another dike right there. That's quartz monzonite intruding up through all this Spirit Mountain granite, isn't that beautiful? We're on one of the outer edges of this plutonic intrusion and there's fracture rings all over the place and they all run in the same direction. That's why all these dikes run in the same direction. And the reason I'm telling you that is because if you happen to find an outcropping that has any type of mineralization in it and gold, look around. Chances are there's another one nearby and sometimes they're parallel and sometimes they're radial. I've said that before but I'm gonna keep going over until it sticks in your head, boy. I want you to watch to the end of the video because I got a surprise for you, a super bonus, one you're not gonna to wanna to miss. But in the meantime, we're gonna keep talking geology and I'm gonna tell you where the gold is up here. Cause yeah, there's gold up here, but only I and Slim know about it. Whoa! So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? So come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go! Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that big cave. That's the nice thing about granitic rock is it erodes really easy and it's always rounded. Makes for caves. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah. Come get some boy. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. You know what that is? That's called a xenolith. It's just basically a foreign rock that got caught up in the magma chamber. And as this granitic rock, which was magma cooled, it cooled inside of it, like a raisin inside of raisin bread. Oh, look at this cave. Look at this cave. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you could hide down in there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Are cool places. Let's get up there and take a look, boy. Look at that. You could stay the night in here. Ooh, and it wouldn't rain on you or nothing. Look at that. Great spot right here. Do you see that? You could build a fire and have it bent right out through this hole. Look at that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. More basalt. That means there's another dike. Oh, there's another xenolith. See it? Another xenolith sticking out. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, there's your basaltic dike right there. All right, look at this. What is that? That's magnetite or black sand. 
and it's everywhere out here and there's a reason for that and i'll go into that later oh look at that sonny boy you see that those are more they're called app lights basically fractures in the granite while it's still in the magma chamber cooling and then these shoot up through there as it's cooling you can see the fine ground mass it's basically the same composition but one's got a fine ground mass you'll see these in granitic rock all the time there's no gold in them but they do look interesting they're called aplites oh look at that beautiful white spirit mountain granite part of a huge bath of this son of jim this is one giant pluton at one time and like i said if you don't know the difference between plutons and cratons or cratons and how they're associated with batholiths and lacoliths you need to look that up and if you don't want to look it up maybe i'll make a special video about it how you like that boy Ooh, look at that i got rhyolite rhyolite in that basalt over there take a look at that boy way over on the ridge way over there in the sunlight huge huge dike running right through that basalt you can't miss it look at that boy what do you see huh gobs and gobs of black sand everywhere oh yeah this wash is still <laughs> ah, all the black sand you could ever want yeah and you're thinking jeff where's it coming from and look at this all these layers of deposition here see all these bedding planes in here Ooh, yeah each one has got its own layer of black sand in it look at that Mm -mm -mm. where's it going where's it going here's some creosote bushes all right now i know some areas around here where the black sand is about two feet thick now black sand doesn't always mean you're gonna have gold so don't get all excited now there's two sources from where the black sand's coming from oh there's a there's a hawk up there Look at that. Let's see if you can spot him. Right there, see him? Oh, that was beautiful. Right here. A lot of this granitic rock here, and there's nice up here too on the outer fracture rings. There is a lot of iron that's locked up in this stuff. And so of course, as it decomposes and breaks down, it releases the iron. Now this granite itself doesn't host a lot of gold. There are some fine minute particles of it, but not a lot. A lot of it's on the outer, like I said, contact zones and fracture ring. A lot of the gold that you're gonna find in this area is either on the west side where there's contact zones there, and that's where you have a lot of placer gold, or on the east side down in the washes, the drainages where it's washed all this material down the black sand and there's very finite particles of gold in there not enough to make you rich now if you look at this place from an aerial photograph you'll see huge fracture rings all the way around this intrusion and the contact zones that's what you're going to be looking for and that's where most of your gold deposits are going to be there's one mineral here that can't be found anywhere else I'm gonna show, oh, here's it. Come here, boy, take a look at this. Oh, that's rare, look, a bottle of beerite. Right there. See the striation lines in the formation? <laughs> oh, all right, let's keep looking around. Oh yeah, I gotta show you the other spot where there's gold, where all these washes drain into one. And like I said, the gold particles are really super small and fine. Ooh, what's that, diorite? Look at that piece of diorite cha 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 you can always tell diorite because it's black and white like a dalmatian dalmatian diorite diorite cha 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 Ooh, listen to that echo ready diorite <laughs> and you know what that is right oh yeah that's a piece of basalt boy you should know what that is very important that you learn the geology out here because when you go to these gold bearing districts, you're gonna need to know what to look for so that you know you're on a winner. See all that beautiful black sand in there? Look at that. Ooh, look at that. You know what that is? That's a piece of gneiss. 
And look inside, what do you see, huh? Those are called phenocrysts on the inside of that. Oh, and this area produces garnet too. Another basalt dike, you see that? Cutting right on through there. Ooh, look at that where it's oxidizing right there. Now that's another source of iron right there. Remember what basalt is, basalt and diabase. They're mafic rocks, iron and magnesium. And when they break down, they release those elements. So you're gonna get a lot of iron out here. So that's your secondary source of iron. And there's a lot of basaltic dikes that run all through here, all along the outside of this fracture ring. And they've got kind of this green look to it. Why? Come on, boy, you should know this stuff. What constitutes your mafic and your ultramafic? Especially in your ultramafic, you got olivine and you got pyrexine. That's what some of these rocks are gonna have a green hue to them. I'm gonna show you where that one particular spot of placer gold is. You ready, boy? Don't say nothing, boy. Just drop those pants and come with me. Right down there, that's where the gold is. This is a collection point right in through here where the gold accumulates from all these washes feeding into this one. And if you go down through here, another quarter mile, you're gonna see black sand two feet thick, but it's, the gold drops out here first. It's really fine and it's not worth it. Hey, you wanna just go walking around and see what we can find? <laughs> all right, now another reason I got you out here, boy, is because today is a very special day. That's right, or I should say tonight. Tonight, we're gonna have a full view of the Bethlehem star. That's right, last time it came up was what? 220 AD? Something like that, long time ago, that's all I know. What do I look like, an astronomer? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay right here and I'm gonna fight off the umpa umpas and get you a picture of that thing. Ooh, it should look real good too. I believe it's in the southwest sky. So if I can get video, I'll put up video. If not, I'll put up pics. So you know what I'm gonna say. Oh, say it with me, boy. So come on, let's go. Well, looky here, I got raisins. Somebody was nice enough to leave me raisins. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Santa's been here. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Now, you're thinking, Jeff, what's the big announcement? We've been sitting here waiting the whole video, and you haven't said anything. Well, here it comes, boy. Christmas is coming up. What did I tell you in the last video? That we're going to be giving away stuff all the way up to Christmas. Ain't that right? So, what are we giving away this time? Ho, 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 little Timmy. So, we're going to give away an ounce of gold. That's right. Yeah. Summer Swim's premium gold to one of our a lucky premium patrons. Now, before you go chomping at the bit, yeah, it's for our premium patrons because we couldn't do any of this without them. Because they help us keep the dream alive. So, we're going to give out an ounce of gold. What do you think about that, boy? Now, for you regular subscribers out there, don't you fret none because remember, we're giving away 200 bags of pay dirt to our regular subscribers when we reach 200,000 subscribers. So don't fret none. I don't want to hear any bad comments down below. It's Christmas, boy. Don't make me pull your pants down. Now, if you want to hurry and join in and become a premium patron to get in on this, it's real simple, boy. Just look at the little tiny icon at the end of the video that looks like... It looks like that! Just click on it and make a $10 pledge and you're like Flint, sonny boy. And don't forget to smash that like button, boy. Smash it hard! I'm gonna get on out of here, because why? Because the sun's going down and the umpa-umpas are coming out. Ooh, you know what they do, don't you? If you don't, I'll make a special video all about that, boy. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? Sonny Jim, that's who. Saying you like Christmas, 
Well, we do too. Sign up as a premium patron, son, and you can get an ounce of AU. Take care, everybody.